Hey, what's going on guys? This is ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be talking about the upcoming Cooler Master Raspberry Pi 4 case. Now this is known as the Cooler Master Pi Case 40. Now before we jump right into it, I do want to mention that I was lucky enough to receive a couple prototypes to take a look at before the official release. So what you're going to be seeing in this video is not the final product, but I do have some really nice renders from their upcoming Kickstarter campaign. Now this case is actually going to be retailing for $24.99 and if you sign up for their email list before the Kickstarter you get 25% off. So like I mentioned they did send over a few prototypes for me to take a look at and in this video you're going to see a 3D printed case here and this is actually really close to the final production size of the case itself. And the full aluminum one you see here is one of their early prototypes but it is a working prototype and overall I personally really like the design that they've come up with for this case. Now this is specifically designed with the Raspberry Pi 4 in mind and we do have full access to the GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi thanks to a little daughter board inside of here and the case itself has an integrated power button. Now even though this is designed with the Raspberry Pi 4 in mind they're talking about adding different bottom plates so you could add different boards in here that are similarly sized to the Pi 4. And a couple that come to mind are the Asus Tinkerboard or the Odroid C4. Now since this is a passively cooled case, it's made out of aluminum and it's going to be wrapped with a TPU rubber, so it's going to be really durable. And if we take a look here, there's a little aluminum protrusion that's actually built into the case. This is going to make contact with the CPU and draw the heat out. And since the 3D printed version that I have here is closer to the final design, you can see that they've added a couple extra fins here just to give it a little more aluminum inside of this case. To keep that CPU cooler, even at higher clock speeds if you want to go ahead and overclock your Pi 4 in this case. Now they have added two main features to this case that really sets it apart from other passively cooled cases. First up, we have full access to the GPIO pins, as you can see here with this TPU cover. You can fold this down and have access to all the GPIO pins on the Pi 4, and they're also labeled. And this actually works out really well because what they've done is added a 90 degree daughter board in here for the GPIO layout on the Pi 4. So when you install the board, you're going to line these pins up and we'll have external access. And the next main thing that sets this apart from most of the other passively cooled cases on the market is it has a built-in power button. Now this can be programmed to reset the Pi, turn it on and off, or you could set up a custom script and when you press the button, you can overclock your Pi. I mean, the possibilities are really endless with the Raspberry Pi 4. So the aluminum case that I have here is an early prototype and the bottom panel here won't allow for much customization. But if we take a look at this 3D printed model, which is further along in the design stages, you can see that there's much more to the bottom shell or the bottom half of the case. And the idea behind this is to allow customization for other boards to fit inside of the case. You could either 3D print a different bottom shell for your aluminum case, or you could purchase one that will allow different single board computers to fit inside of here. When Cooler Master first reached out to me and told me they were going to be doing a Kickstarter for this, I was kind of scratching my head because Cooler Master is a pretty big company. They have their hands on a lot of different cooling solutions, from automotive, industrial, to what most of us know them for, enthusiast PC parts. But since there's a big maker community behind the Raspberry, Raspberry Pi, they wanted to actually get a Kickstarter going to see what the Pi community really wanted out of a case, and I actually think this is an awesome idea. Because let's face it, I mean, Cooler Master is a big company like I mentioned, and if they really wanted to go ahead and throw these cases out there, they could have had them done a few months ago and on the market already. So what we've seen so far of the case in this video is more of an early prototype, but I do have some renders of a more finalized version. So we've seen so far that the top half of the shell is aluminum. It's also going to be wrapped around all four corners with a TPU rubber. This is a very durable rubber. And we'll have full access to all the ports on the Raspberry Pi. Ethernet, USB. Over here, we'll have our USB Type-C. Dual mini HDMI ports, our 3.5mm audio jack. There's also going to be a slot on the other side to allow for a camera ribbon to be run into the case so you can use a Raspberry Pi camera with this also. And along with the case being able to be placed on a desktop, it's also going to include four brackets that can be mounted to the bottom of the case to make up a nice visa mount. So just in case you want to mount this on the back of your monitor or TV or even up on a wall, they make it super easy for you. So yeah, I'm personally really excited about this case. I can't wait to get my hands on the final product. I'm really excited about it. And definitely keep an eye on the channel because I will be doing an update video about halfway through their campaign. I really want to see if anything's changed from this product that we see right now. But that's pretty much it for this video. I really appreciate you watching. I will leave links to the official Cooler Master Pi 40 case website. I'm also going to leave links to the Kickstarter in case you're interested in backing it or just learning more about it. 
I'm super excited about this case and I can't wait to get my hands on a final production unit for a full review. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.